Here's how to import AVI files to Premiere Pro if you're enabled to do so. So first, I just want to show you a quick solution that some people have had success doing, and that's to change the file name extension. On Windows, you simply enable this option here. On Mac, it's pretty similar. Then you want to rename the file like this, and you change the AVI to MTS, and you confirm like this. And now you can try to import it. If it does not work, you can just change it back to AVI. And then another quick fix we can do before getting to the more advanced solution is by going up here, click on save, and now close the project, edit, preferences, media cache, and now click on the delete button here, select the second option and click on OK. Then Premiere Pro will restart and once it's up running again you can try to import the AVI file. On Adobe's website under the supported file formats we can see that AVI is supported, however not many codecs are supported inside the container. So to fix this, we can do a simple rewrap of the file, which is pretty easy to do. You will need to download a software which can do this, and a good one is the Shutter Encoder, which is free, so link to it in the description. Now simply drag the file on top of the software like this. Then under Choose Function, we're going to pick the rewrap here. And then going to click OK, and here we want to set this one to mp4 which we know is supported by Premiere Pro. So now click on start function and simple as that you can see in one second my file has been converted to a mp4 file and if we try to import it now you can see that it works. If that doesn't work you can simply try to transcode the file so just drag it on top again. Then under choose function we're going to choose the Apple ProRes. If you want to save some space on your computer then you can choose the H.264. Go ahead and select this one, set this one to LT and I'm gonna click on start function. This takes a little bit more time than the simple re-wrapping of the file. Once it's done, you'll find it in the same folder as the original file, and you can try to import it. And if it works, give the video a thumbs up, and I hope you found a solution to your problem.